Frank McGee uh, had the same attitude toward Barbara Walters as Harry Reisner, that she didn't deserve to be there. And it was beneath him to have her sitting beside her, beside him when he was doing interviews. She wasn't yet the co-host uh, of the Today Show, but she had relentlessly worked her way to being on the air. And he created a rule uh, va validated by the president of NBC News that when they were doing interviews from the studio, Barbara Walters could not speak until he had asked the first three questions. Can you imagine silencing Barbara Walters uh, next to you for three questions? Um, but you know, Sue, you know the way uh, life can be funny and bad news can become good news. Right. And for Barbara Walters, this bad news, she turned it into something that really ended up being a great positive. Because if she arranged an interview outside the studio for herself, Frank McGee wouldn't be there. And she could ask the first question and the second question and all the questions. And she started to do that in defense of this, to, to, to get around, a workaround for this rule in the studio. And of course, that became what she was best known at. That became what she did best, which was, number one, to land the biggest newsmaker around and then to do a really powerful interview with him or her.